All right, check it out. We got a chance to go inside a deserted paper mill. This place is a giant industrial complex that employed up to close to a thousand people in its prime. This place began in 1894 when they decided to build a dam to harness the power of the river. It ran for 126 years before going into bankruptcy in 2011 and then being sold. Another bankruptcy in 2016, finally closed in 2020. In May of 2021, there was a fire at the now closed paper mill. And now in 2024, they're having an auction. So here we enter with the opportunity to purchase things and we get to go inside. Check it out. All right, here we are picking up some auction stuff. Oh yeah, let's see what we get. This complex is massive. We went to multiple different buildings trying to figure out where to get in. Multiple different doors kept leading us around. No, go to this building, go to that building. Finally, we found our first building here. So we're gonna pick up one item from this building. Check out the huge indoor space. And this is the smaller of the buildings. There's our guy leading us around. We got an item on a cart. Came with a mystery box and an air pump. Bullard air pump. It's uh, used for respirators, fresh breathing air. Here's our mystery trunk. Unfortunately, nothing too special in there. Okay, now comes the special part. Heading to the big building. They're leading us through all these old, abandoned, vacant parking lots. Get to go through the secret back way on these roads across railroad tracks. There's the huge building. We are about to enter that thing. We're going in the secret back entrance here. Going behind, leading us through these special employee only areas but now we get to see we get to go inside and see what this giant factory looks like got an overhead walkway there tunnel something we don't get to go in there unfortunately all right heading up the ramp getting inside here we go dark, creepy, look at that elevator, let's take a ride.
right upstairs. They said that the stuff we have to pick up is all the way at the other end of the building. Only one elevator. Here we are, walking through, looking at this huge industrial equipment. Slowly walking all the way across the building. It's eerie. Many areas are not lit up. They just have emergency lighting on right now. Just enough to see. As we're walking here, we're wondering, how are we going to get this stuff down? We brought a wheelbarrow. And it's already taken like 10 minutes to get to this location. We know we have more than will fit in one wheelbarrow. I'm wondering, are we getting ourselves in over our head here? Are these guys going to be mad? When we first showed up, the guy mentioned that he saw us going from parking lot to parking lot building the building, trying every door, and he's like, I bet you these guys are going to show up at 4 o'clock when we're closing, when we're getting ready to leave, and sure enough, we show up at 3.30, so here we are, walking through this giant factory, still walking have not gotten to our items yet. Two guys leading us through here. Other than these other two guys and that guy on the cart at the beginning at the elevator, we've not seen anybody else on this second floor. And we don't. We don't run across anybody. The entire time we're in here, it's just us and these two guys assisting us. It's pretty cool. You got these areas that are lit up. Looks like the Space Command Center. And then you get dark areas, train tracks that lead into darkness. Huge machinery very high ceilings and here it looks like a building inside of a building transformers going through the floor walkways to the lower floor it's all eerie quiet abandoned we're getting closer we can finally see auction items ahead dark dark room here's here's some of the auction items carts maybe we can use one of those carts strange mystery stuff here's the welders we wanted we didn't get them okay finally our room. Here we are, trying to find our items. Okay, we had to search a lot, then finally we found our items. There they are, welding rods, everything under that table there. Lots and lots of welding rods. We're wondering how much under the table is ours. Looking around the back side, there is welding stuff back there too. We ended up only taking a couple spools of welding wire. But I know the lot talked about hoses. We didn't get any hoses, so I think there's more stuff we left behind. But we certainly got a good lot here. Look at these giant boxes of welding rods, 50 pounds each. Put them on a cart that we borrowed. It's a good thing we borrowed the cart because there's no way our wheelbarrow would have done the job. So as we were Pushing the cart over towards our jack post that we also got another couple rooms down. We left the cart sitting in the hallway here. 
when it was loaded with the welding rods, very heavy. And I go and grab the first jack post, start walking out, and our cart's rolling away. It's rolling towards the equipment, the machinery. <laughs> we barely catch it in time before it hits some of that big machinery that we passed on the way in. And then once we get out to the ramp at the bottom of the elevator, we unloaded 80% of it knowing we can't control this cart. <laughs> then you could get some work done. Yeah. Going down the ramp. So then finally we push it down and halfway down the ramp we lose control and we're barely keeping ourselves from skidding our feet. Hit the bottom of the ramp and thankfully we stop right before crashing into our trailer. Excellent. This was really cool. There it is, made it home. Trailer full of welding rods and jack posts and a mystery air pump on a cart with a trunk. Here's our stash of welding supplies. You can see we strapped all these longer rods, brazing rods, TIG rods, upright. And then there's our standard stick welding rods with uh, a couple spools of wire. Oh yeah! And here comes the air pump. So now the question is, will there be another auction? another chance to go in and see more of this cool factory. Another chance to get some cool items. Maybe some different areas of the paper mill. And then, long term, what's to become of the paper mill? Will the paper mill be repurposed? Turned into something or will it be demolished, destroyed, become nothing but piles of concrete and waste? Only time will tell.